compound interest or depreciation is a repeated percentage change. So if I've got £2,000 earning 5% interest per annum per year, I've got to add on 5% and then get that new amount of money and add on 5% again and then get that new amount of money and add on 5% again. It is not the same as just finding 5% and times it by 3 because the amount you're earning interest on in the second year and the third year are different. So the amount of money you, you've got goes up every year, so you earn interest on a different amount of money. So luckily, they, instead of working out 5%, adding it on, working out 5% of the new amount, adding it on, and working out 5% of that new amount and adding it on, there's actually a quicker way. So if I want to add on 5%, I want 100% plus 5%. So I want to work out 105%. So if I get £2,000 and I want to add on 105%, I do 2,000 times 105% or 1.05, and that adds on 5%. So if I want to do that twice, I just times well 1.05 twice. If I want to do it three times, I times by 1.05 three times. So I add on 5%, then I add on 5% to that, and then I add on 5% to that. And this can be written, written in a simpler way as 2,000 times 1.05, and we've got three of them, so it's cubed. So I can type this in the calculator, and it tells me the answer. So the answer is £2,315.25. Okay, so we've got another situation. So we're investing £5,200. So that's our original amount. And we're adding on 4%. So it's 100% plus 4% which is 104%. So it's times 104%, which is 1.04. And I want to do that five times. So times 1.04 times 1.04, five times. Type that into the calculator. And we've got our answer. So we've got 6326 pounds and we always round money to two decimal places, so it's 60p. Okay, the opposite of compound interest, so repeated percentage change going down, is called depreciation. So a car's value depreciates, goes down by 20% per annum. So we want to do 100%, take off 20%, so we want 80%. It costs eleven thousand pounds, so eleven thousand, and we we want three years of change, twenty fourteen to twenty seventeen. So it's times zero point eight, three times, so cubed. And the answer is five six three two, so five thousand six hundred and thirty two pounds. Okay, here's two questions for you to try. So give them a go, pause the video, and then I'll put the answer up after. Okay, question one. So we've got 100% plus 3%. So that's 103%. That's what we want. So we've got 2,500 times 103% or 1.03. Or you could, you could write 103% or you could write 103 over 100. Any of those are fine. And it's got to be to the power of 4 because it's 4 times. So we type in the calculator. And that gives us 2813 pound 77. Okay, a car's value depreciates by 15% per annum, so 100%, take off 15%, we want 85% each year. So we've got 11000, 
times 85 percent 0 0.85 85 over 100 and it's four years so four years four times four percentage changes and that gives us the answer of five seven four two pounds and seven pence so five thousand seven hundred and forty two pounds seven pence